Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're talking about balancing the load. That's right. Sometimes, no matter how hard you work on your music career, it seems like your personal life suffers, or vice versa. So in this video, we're going to talk about my top 10 ways for balancing the load and making everybody happy. So stick around. Oh. Number 10. Music money is for music. Period. This shouldn't have to be said, but it's important you allocate money for music stuff strictly from music-related earnings. If not, you'll soon find your personal life is suffering more important money issues. Like rent. Number 9. Divide and conquer. Some jobs give you more flexibility than others. This is true of emails and phone calls, too. If you or someone in your group can use these tools to handle music needs without getting into trouble, that person should be the main contact. Number 8. Try to include your loved ones in your music. Whether having your kids design your next album cover, or your significant other come to shows to run the merch table, making them interested in your passion will translate to less feelings of abandonment to your other one true love. Number 7. Pick up the slack. If your group has one or more members working the long hours that allows your passion to thrive, help out by doing the marketing and other business-related things no one wants to do. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. Number six, schedule everything. Seriously, if you don't use that calendar app or whatever you use religiously, something's going to fall through the cracks and cost you. And make sure everyone in the group gets updated. Number five, communicate. If you talk to everyone involved and agree to certain times for certain things, no one will begrudge you that space in your schedule. It also will hold you accountable to filling that time well. Number four, don't forget you. At least once a week, force yourself to do something completely different than the rest of the week. This helps reset your focus and recharges you for what's next. Number three, don't forget the long term. Write down those lofty goals so you don't stagnate and find yourself in two years playing the same four venues for the same money with the same songs. Number two, pick your time. Whether it's your lunch hour or first thing in the morning, find your optimal production time to get some music business stuff done. That way, when creative time rolls around, those worries won't cramp the music from flowing. And my number one way to balance work, personal, and music lives is... Remember why you're here. I know firsthand how hard it is to come home from a long day's work trying to motivate yourself to do something musical or something music business-wise and to be expected to take over parenting duties or it's laundry day or one of those many, many things that keep us from just getting in that nice creative zone. Just don't quit. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to support content like this, go ahead and click the Patreon link down below, or how about buy one of my CDs? In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click here, and if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and click here. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.